Good morning, afternoon and evening everyone. This is Hippie Tesla and welcome to episode 21 of Chrono Cross. We're at the... It's, this is the big one. We're at the... <laughs> we're at my favorite location. Well, I, actually we're about to enter my favorite location in the game. And we're gonna get bombed with so much story. It's... Get ready. Get some popcorns. Is it popcorn? It's popcorn. Yeah, get some popcorn. Or... Get few of them <laughs> and get comfortable. Hi, Lupka. <laughs> Hi, Sash. Uh, the arbiter of time. There, that's yep. Who, who's the arbiter of time? It's me. Hold on. 52, 56. That's the last one. On whom the goddess, on whom the goddess, what? On whom the goddesses of fate smile. Ha ha ha. So okay, who's my party here? You wanna bring something sp so special? I feel that I should have brought, it uh, just hit me today, I should have brought uh, Lena, what's her name? Damn, we haven't seen her in a while. To the Wazuki fight. Because that's her dad. I, I don't remember if I did that, it was a long time ago. There we go, Lena. Should have brought her. Because her dad was Wazuki, the guy we fought in um, <laughs> when we were here a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I gotta bring more. Let me think about my party. I think Norris and Fargo will do good. Yeah, yellow and blue. Plus, I like those guys. I could swap Lena in, but she can't steal, and I want to steal. So, she does have crazy magic. Remember that, and magic resistance. I don't know. If we need magic, I'll swap, swap her out with uh, Fargo. But let's get in. Here we are. Oh, this music. Chronopolis Military Research Center. May there be everlasting peace for the children of the world. 2400 AD. So here we go. I can finally start talking about this god. So this facility says it's from 2400 AD, so far in the future. I heard Group 3B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. They're releasing the flame's lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. Yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it will work out just fine. During the simulation, Fate was certain the flame could be used as a relay to extract enough energy to counteract the anti-annihilation effect. Don't worry, it'll be a success. I hope so. Oh no, please don't, don't. Get out, get out, out, outside. <laughs> no. Oh, again with that thing. What is, what is wrong now? I can see it, hold on. There's nothing there. There's, there's nothing there. Why are you doing that? Hold on, I gotta try something with the settings. Configure video. Hope this works. So I'll destroy white balance. And then zip. I guess it just decided to fuck everything up. Let's see. So I'll remember that one. Again, something that worked perfectly before in the tests. Let's see. It's making... Oh, is that shadow somehow appeared there? Let's see. Is this one better? Yeah, okay. Gotta change those. Yeah, that's a lot better. Still not perfect, but it's a lot better. Gotta get better better lighting there you go okay all right guys what's going on here once we're done with today's experiment we have that long-awaited three-week vacation I'm heading back to Zenon to spend time with my family my daughter's birthday is coming up you know you're from Medina right remember Medina it's... I've been on this island for a year and a half now man I've had enough Aside from the man-made island with this research center, 
There isn't a single island in the Sea of El Nido. If we manage to produce counter time at will, we'll only be a step away from asserting control over time itself. Just hang in there a little longer. Oh, they knew nothing. They knew nothing. You said it. I can't believe we've come this far. It's almost time for work. Gotta get back into work mode. Just leave it in fate's hands. Don't worry, it'll succeed. So, they're calling someone or something fate. Obviously, by that spelling. There are robots around. What the hell? I remember very little save, save for the story here, so... I remember robots, and I remember the backgrounds. Let's see what Fargo can do. What is this? Hmm. It'll be enough for a steal, I think, yeah. Or a uh, pillage. Pillage and plunder. Police police. <laughs> I mean... It means city police, so why not? <laughs> Capsule, okay, not bad. But not really worth the trouble. We got those. Megaton fist. So, we finally made Transformers in the future. Jesus Christ, that almost killed them. Man. I think I'll get, yeah. Let's see if Norris survives this. Ugh, I don't know his HP, so let's see if I can heal sufficiently. Looks like he's about to die, but I'm not gonna take that chance, so Cure Plus on me, please. Not Surge, but Norris. Achaka Norris! And one kick, yeah. So that's gotta be careful of that skill, obviously. He can as easily kill. Probably Nullify Physical would be good. No, that's still an element. They're pretty strong. I do have the white plate, I should give it to someone, Norris or Fargo, because it will absorb all the white element. Wait, Fargo, why are you... you know what, never mind, just go with it. Iceberg. Fuck it, let's go with Iceberg. Maybe he dies. Hydrate. Ah, I got, I got forest blackberry syrup, mmm, half a liter <laughs> glass. <laughs> so here we go, band defense, oh boy, oh boy, hello Vibrant Knight, hello, welcome to the stream, how have you been? It's been a while. Okay, no defense, just offense, really, <laughs> really good timing, because these guys are badass. He's still alive. Yep, someone's dead. Who who will it be? It's Norris. Chaka Norris. I'm sorry, man. Oh, whoa, he's alive. May oh, maybe it's one of those... Um, techs that actually is percentage-based on HP, huh? We use that already. So I'm just gonna go. I can negate magic as well, but I'm gonna try a flying arrow. Flying arrow power! Oh, well, that's gotta hurt. Let's hope he, he... Let's hope he's done soon, sis. Oh! Yeah, we did something there. He is hurt. Oh, nice! Well, enjoy your day off! 
That's always good. Being able to rest. Top shot or heal? Should I risk it all? No, again, he'll do it when Fargo's doing Fargo's turn, will he? Gotta put more heals on him. I don't know. I don't have Nostrum. I should put Nostrum on him. Capsule? Medium? Fuck it, out. All out. What's the strongest? There we go, top shot. Let's see, single enemy, right? Fires a concentrated ball of aura energy. I don't know if we tried it. Because I just put that on him. He just got to level 8. Oh, man. Zoom. Yeah, I think we did. Whoa. Well, that was a cock shot, but sure. Hello, zombie. Hello, man. You working today, zombie? Oh, is Norris dead? Yep, Norris is dead. Bazooka. We have revives. I think it's better to focus on offense now, especially since I can't defend. Oh, you're not working. Nice. Oh, gee. Oh, it wasn't even Norris. It was Fargo. Damn, okay. I think I'll be able to revive him and keep going. He's twitching, so I think he's almost done. Revive. Somebody else has to use Nostrum. So Fargo, Fargo zero. Norris is very dangerous. Jambe! Okay, not bad. Norris, you gotta accept some heals, man. No! Okay, that's okay. At least I know what they do now. I wonder what's the trick with them. There must be something that makes them easier. 90%. There you go. It's got a hit. So can you revive? That's what I want to know. Yes. Alright. We still have a chance. But it's Surge's turn, is it? Wait, Fargo revived. Yeah, let's let's do that, and then Surge can use Nostrum. He might attack after this one. I'll risk it. Oh, something's happening. You, you done? Damn, that's a regular enemy. That's not even a boss. It doesn't sound like it's a boss. Didn't even notice the whole field was white. You could have summoned something. No, it was a boss. Okay, that makes sense. Use consumables. Oh, didn't even need them. And we got negate physical. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. When these guys can hit hard. Now let's check. Maybe exchange Norris for someone that's black innate. Let's see who we have. I know that was the first enemy we came across. Let's let's move. I, I, I want to see what other enemies there are before thinking of party. But I do want to put some healing on Norris. Chaka Norris has nothing on him. Uh, level... Let's see what we have. Do we have Nostrums? Yeah. 33 of them. Thunderstorm or Negate Physical. Those are both good, damn it. Yeah, Thunderstorm is too valuable to just pass, so let's try something else for healing. How about Capsule? That's more than nothing. He, got, he has five of them, okay. Recover all, something else that... Heal all. Yeah. Decreases their offense or increases our defense. I mean defense in both ways. You know what? We'll go like that. Anything else to check? <laughs> the police police, huh? What the hell are these guys? Let's touch them. There's gonna be various robots. So this is this facility is 1400 years from the future. So we don't know what wonders. Gizmotoid. Okay. So it's like Mr. Handy. I guess I offended them. Theirs is also white innate, right? 
No, it's red. Good. Okay. So, I, I thought they were all gonna be the same. Fuck it. I'll illuminate y'all. Yeah. Gizmotroid. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to steal from this one because I heard it a lot. I just need three hits. No! We'll try it next one. I don't know what they drop. Okay. Something's gonna jump me here, is it? There's a shiny chest. Oh, yellow brush. Okay. Oh, nothing's gonna jump me. Yet. So... How about the uh, uh, white plate? So... Oof, defense down 5. Magic defense down... 8? Huh. But it absorbs white elements. That's... I'll keep it in mind. Maybe... What do the brushes do? Brushes, brushes. Protects against anti-yellow and yellows. Yeah. We'll see if it gets useful somewhere. The shiny chest of wonders. Yeah. I'm gonna check if there's a... Oh, no, I wanna avoid you. No, not that. Whatever that is. I keep clicking the, the left stick when I wanna move quickly. And that's... One of the cheats, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It looks like maybe no battles? Nah, there's nothing here. Senpai would know if there's a, a frame somewhere here. Let's move on. It kind of looks like Chrono Trigger now. Yeah. Pokemon XD. It does look like it. The, you know, the look of the technology and all that. There's a door here and there's something here. What is this? Oh, wow. There's a lot. So, oh, there's a chest here. Good. That's useful. Oh, you can open and close it. I like how you can just avoid it. <laughs> Seems to be some trick to open it. Or opening it. Okay, that was worth getting into an accidental battle, I guess. Let's see what I can steal from them. Gizmatoid. Plus, Fargo's their kryptonite. Man, okay, good thing there's two of them. Fargo got a little carried away. He's probably gonna miss. Yep. Because I didn't... Um, I didn't uh, get his accuracy up. Oh well, there's gonna be more of them. I will be the worst thief ever. I don't know, he might be... I know he wouldn't want to miss this, so... Uh... Again, I think I said that last time as well. <laughs> but he's probably busy. Busy. Okay, so trick you say do I need do I have a card or something nope I don't have anything digital I could use maybe the time shifter what is this Where do I want to go first, game? Do you press something or? But it looks like a set of stairs. Ah, is this. Can I lose this if I fuck up? Robo sewer wash. Operate the robot. Uh, yeah. Press Y to quit, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Can you go in the water? Yeah. Nope. I killed it. 
I'm sorry, I didn't want to kill you. Can you jump? Can you do anything? But I can press Y to quit. Okay, let's check around. Maybe you can open the, the door for me. Hmm. Because there's that switch over there. I bet there's... I bet I, I gotta press it somehow. I just don't know how. Let's try again. Robo sewer wash. Right, I don't remember this at all. It looked like he could swim. Oh, I see. Okay, he's got to walk. I see it now. I didn't notice. And the water keeps... The water current keeps pushing me, so... So let's get to the chests first. <laughs> Whoa. The currents... The currents kind of... Um... Diagonal, so you gotta, ooh, you gotta be careful. Nice. Cure all, that's better than heal all, I think. I would check, yeah, I can't open the menu now. Alright, now I go press the button. Can you do anything else with him? Nope. Alright, we're just gonna cross then. Really nothing. And the music died out as well. Hello, guys. Oh, that screen looks... Nope. Oh. Good thing I didn't blow everything up. <laughs> Just press every button you see. No, I wanted to check the wall. I'm gonna try stealing from this thing again. This time, carefully, building up the... Building up the accuracy without killing it. So light hits, just one, one, one. As long as they're not attacking Fargo, we're good. Okay, I should steal now. Definitely. Slowly and politely. Get the fuck out of my bar. <laughs> what are you doing buying drinks in a bar? <laughs> you think this is a place of business? <laughs> Man, did they ever finish that? I would love to see the ending. They did finish... Um, Ponchi did finish... Um, <laughs> Resident Evil Code Ponchi, so... It's possible. Tell you... Um, actually, here you go. Nice blast. I want to save some elements. <laughs> Lupka showed up on his door. Get over here! Alright, we're good, and there's nothing interesting to steal from these guys, at least I know now. Almost. Oh! A new type of robot. No! <laughs> Arrow guard, and... We have Gizmotoid, okay? Oh, you can look, you can take a look at each enemy like this. I keep forgetting to do that. Very interesting designs. Uh, okay, let's try the new camera. The new, I mean the, the other camera type. Mess. 
Does the camera change for the skills as well? Only during battle, it seems. Don't kill it. Alright, we got full accuracy. Damn, these robots got nothing interesting to steal. Chakanoris. Can you fill up on this guy? I think you can fill up on this guy and then finish the other guy. That's why I shouldn't sure finish him. Uh, and the, is the PC busy? I assume. When you gotta resort to mobile. Okay, well, at least we'll finish with a lot of elements. Oh, Norris is frozen, man. Didn't even notice. And we got nothing to untaw him. Well, if somebody touches him, he'll die. So I gotta kill this guy quickly. And I got nothing left. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I guess I'm gonna try Photon Beam and hope for the best. Because Norris did hit him twice, so it's possible I kill him. But if... If he hits Norris, I think he's gonna shatter him because he's frozen. Fargo? You gotta save us, Fargo. You're my only hope, Fargo. I guess we'll go with uh, Aqua Ball. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, geez, he's still alive. Okay, we're fucked because he can. High beam. I think Norris is done. Oh no, he doesn't die instantly. Good. Alright. But he will. What? Uh, there was, there was some kind of accessory there. Equip. Equip. What was it? Power Rangers. No, it wasn't Power Rangers. Perfect. No. Power Seal improves attack power. Hmm, who could use that? Man, as much as I love this game, I gotta say the the inventory, the equipment menu is shit. It's one of the worst Square made. In terms of like not being able to sort anything, I gotta I always gotta look for stuff around here. Nah, six fifty-eight. Nah, they're good as it, as they are. No need to <laughs> stop it. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, there's there's a lot of robots, but uh, apparently we're in an umbrella facility. There it is. There it is. Suspiciously, these things are called records of fate. Where we save. I'm gonna make a new save file just in case I fuck up something very important. I don't think I will, but. Uh, Yeah, we don't need that or that. <laughs> okay, they're off the rails. It's the Lupka and Sale show. Hmm. Well, for why would I be able to climb here if there's nothing? Or maybe I just missed it. That kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. <gasps> There's another one. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, 
become like gods? If so, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail in this experiment. If, for some reason, anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? I just noticed an interesting thing today with the Elgato capture card that I never did notice before. The lag when I'm using the HDMI, like right now on Xbox One, is half the duration of the lag you get from uh, when I'm, I don't know, playing PS2 or anything that uses component. Which means, because the camera and microphone are offset one second to match, you know, because I tested it with Outbreak the most. When I'm doing something like this via HDMI, uh, it may appear... Oh, there's something here. It may appear that I... I'm ahead or behind with the, like whatever happens when I move surge like now it doesn't have to match even though it matched in here something to keep in mind yeah. well well that perspective looked a lot different but here we are hell <laughs> surge found forget me not pot Okay, we'll, we're gonna need that. That That's it. That's it. So this is very important as... Is it... A, I think it's an... Yeah, it's a, it's an accessory. Which means anyone can... Uh, capture creatures now. Like Sprig. There it is. Memorize monsters to be used in doppelgang ability. There you go. So anyone can doppelgang now. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try it on Surge. Evasion or his evasion is 20, 8, 8. Yeah, I'm gonna try instead of Kung Fu shoes. I'm gonna go with Forget Me Not Pot. Damn, that's a lot of evasion. Should I maybe stone helmet? What's the like five armor and two magic defense? But like this, it's all the evasion. Oh, fuck it, I gotta try. What? Who? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what what you're talking about. Did you hit your head? What on the bed somehow? <laughs> so I, I didn't check the big elevator. I'm gonna do that. I did save recently, so if I don't want to proceed, security level two locked. Please release the lock. Okay, that's what I expected. Something like that. Am I missing something? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not that kind of pot. <laughs> All right, more. You know what? I don't care. It's so nice when it's up close. Maybe that's what I should do. You gotta weaken them sufficiently. Oh, Elgad, Elgato, Elgato. <laughs> okay, don't kill him. Uh, what was it? How do I do it? How do I do it? Wait, really? How do I do it? So I just need to defeat them because she doesn't have. I mean, he doesn't have. What was it called? It's prick head, like to eat them or something? Cook? Mimic? Shit, I can't remember. Well, fuck it, here's a meteor shower. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just one word, El Gato. <laughs> That's the name of the company that makes uh, streaming equipment, stream decks, capture cards. And other stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> no, they re really, they make a lot of stuff. El Gato. Whoa, 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 man, no. Uh, it's, it's so weird now from this perspective, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like the, the whole perspective is different. Interesting. Just like, where's the single? Yeah, there you go. Spiral Ray. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what El Gato is. El Gato. Not just Gato. Man, these robots, like after that guy, these guys are just not challenging. After the, you know, after the boss one. Second floor, there's literally, oh, wait, there's, I thought there was nothing. <laughs> oh, laser. Are we in a, I gotta touch it, man. Oh, I had to touch it. I just had to touch it. Well, what's up? Was there another floor? Am I going crazy? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is another floor, but it's locked. So we'll have to get there somehow. Okay. And apparently I had to go through the security thing. You turn it off there and do something. Does this elevator work? Okay, security level two locked. There's a lot of rooms here. I'm gonna try here and then come back to the other one if I can. Ah! <gasps> Later. That's an important room. I'm gonna check the others first. Damn, I'll never forget that sight. Alright. Can I turn off the security system? Oh, it just shows. Security. Okay, so that's the only one. Fargo, man, I know. It's technology. Don't get... <laughs> he had an issue there. He's good now. All right. These robots look suspiciously like, uh, at least their helmets look like the dwarves we fought at the, earlier in the game. Here we are. Recognize this? It's El Nido. Duh. I forgot about that. <laughs> Scared me. So, um, yeah, interesting thing. El Nido in Spanish means the nest. But uh, in Japanese, the word Nido means two times. It means twice, which is uh, a reference to, you know, the duality, the, the two dimensions. Do they all do the same? Look. Oh, I know what this is. I know. I, I'm going to tell you what this is. I, I think he will. If he doesn't, I'll tell you. I know what this is. What, why it's changing. Hello there. Originally, I don't know. Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. The El Nido archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements using the energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory terminal devices called the records of fate that could monitor and guide people's lives. The research center staff who had their memories of the future erased left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect ha uh, harmony. <laughs> that is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with a flame on the night of the storm. <laughs> so all of this didn't exist 
I mean, you gather by now, this whole building is from the future. Someone we know orchestrated all of this to save someone dear that we know from Chrono Trigger. So he hatched a plan to uh, to bring the to make everything happen as it is. They'll tell more. Basically, all the people of El Nido. So from this, all the only thing that existed was Gaia's navel. All of this was created by fate. I think they're gonna explain who fate is right about now. Where was the lock release for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. Security level 2 locked. Releasing lock. Oh my god, it's decisions, decisions all over again. Access granted. Okay. By the way, I saw a boy and a flashy looking chick touching that panel. Who could that be? <gasps> Kid and Dark Surge? Where was the lock release? Okay. Huh? No, talk to the guy. So 14 years ago, a boy came in contact with the frozen flame. Remember, I already said the frozen flame is a piece of lavos. And it's got special properties. That's why Lynx was so af so much after it. But wait, there's more. We're about to find out who Lynx really is. Before we go into the elevator, I'm gonna go back there. I think it was security level 2, yada yada. Yep. What is this? This is... Strong arm. What the fuck is strong arm? I thought I destroyed it when I caused the explosion in the lab. In any case, the only one who can operate this is Grobic. Okay. We should bring Grobic here. Okay, yeah, gladly. I will. What are these? Washing machines? Hmm, lock release code. What could it be? I don't see anything here spelling a code. Norris knows that because he was working with Grobic. Double O. Okay, so we need a password for that. Can I go through? No. Fuck it. I want to see if the thing up there was unlocked. Nah. So we'll probably take the elevator and then uh, go back down using the stairs up there. Wait, he said bring Grobic. That's right. There's a record of fate below. Nice. Stairs footsteps. Let's just temporarily put him in. Where is he? Did he even join? I thought I had him join. Oh, I, I didn't? Oh well. Oh, there he is. I was looking for a gold robot for some reason. Is he gonna comment on the arm?
Dieu. Thanks for the raid, Weski. Welcome, raiders. Welcome. Welcome to Chrono Cross. Thank you, Lyubka. Yeah, I was watching that from uh, from Mammoth's per perspective. How were the games, Weski? I saw what you guys did to Nyx. That was... I wouldn't want to be Nyx. Poor Nyx, you bullies. How's everyone doing? We're at a very story-intense part of the game. Yeah, she's really fast. This cannot be... This is the ancient super weapon that was under development in 4. But what is it doing here? It looks complete. Alright, so we got strong arm. <laughs> she practiced. Uh, I guess elements give the cyborg his cyborg arm. Oh, I'm so excited, Wesky. I, I, you know already this is my favorite game of all time, and we're at uh, we're at my favorite part where we're gonna learn a lot of story. I can't even. I don't even know how to word it, but there's gonna be a lot, so much. Should we bring Grobic here? Being you know a cyborg, maybe he knows the password. Let's let's ask him. Nah, he doesn't know shit. Like, what was, was double O? Let's try. It. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's off the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> wait, the, the these do they memorize? Maybe I need to listen to the sounds they make. Nope. No, it's that one. Let's re-enter. Does it change every time you enter? It does. So let's try. Uh. Maybe it's literally. Or 2 2, maybe? Or maybe 2 0. How about 2 3? I'm just looking at the stuff around the room and trying to figure it out. 3 2? Nope. So it got nothing to do with that, huh? I don't know what they're supposed to do. Ninety-nine. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. If not, again, we'll play this properly on the PlayStation. So, fuck it, not worth it. Hello, Simon. Hello. Oh, watch out, the flying robots. I'll just... I'll just swap Norris back in. And it'll make a save. At the same time. Where's Chuck and Norris? Oh, here we go. He's right there at the top. Uh, Sash, you were working. What I was saying earlier. So, Wesky, Mammoth, and two other people. I'm not sure who else was playing. Anyway, they got to Nyx. It took them about seven seconds. Give or take a second or two. It was really fast. They just... Somebody used the remote and they just fired everything into him. It was just like, gone. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, I st uh -huh. I'm really curious about that code. Maybe it's somewhere in the monitors. Nah. Let's start with B1, I guess. Please present the central lab zone registration card. Okay, we don't have that. I guess first floor is below. 
logically. I'm just gonna check. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think. I was there. I wasn't counting time. I, I was looking. <laughs> Before I would even explain what I just did, they killed him. Four people gathered around the poor bioweapon and just bullied it. <laughs> All right, so we're at floor three. What awaits us here? There's also left and right, huh? So the building is at least symmetrical. We know what to expect, where. We're gonna go... I don't know, I'm gonna go left first, I guess. Yeah, he, he didn't even get to stand. He fell down almost immediately. I did save just now, let's see. The DNA records are poems and music. Adenine and thymine. Guanine, 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 how do you say that in English? And cy cytosine, I guess. Rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. Oh! Jeez, man. That's a hint for the final boss. I didn't get it the first time. Of course I didn't get it. I was just surprised with everything I see here. Ah, see what's on the wall there? Thank you, Eski. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It, and it's gonna be. <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. You have a good night there. Lavos, the next extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heaven 65 million years ago. On the timeline that, exi that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface, sleeping and consuming the planet's energy up until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse. There are those who believe that 12,000 years ago the legendary ancient magical civilization known as Zeal came into contact with Lavos. That fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal has never been proven, so the theory cannot be confirmed to this day. On some timelines, Lavas appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and brought the world to ruin. However, a group of young time travelers saw, their, saw where their planet's history was heading and through their actions, rewrote time. Oh, that's it. The, that was kind of abrupt. So yeah, it's around this point in game. The, the first, yeah, the first, um, <laughs> the first. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta. I, I'm gonna self hydrate. Okay, that helped a lot. I guess my throat gets dry, I don't even notice it. So, it first hint that it's actually a sequel to Chrono Trigger is when we see the images of Chrono Luke and Marl in the, it, Nadia's bell or Lean's bell. Remember that just before Miguel battle? I think before. Yeah, it was just before the battle. And this is the second, I think, solid connection with Chrono Trigger. You get them sprinkled everywhere, but this like straight out tells you Lavos, Zeal, everything. We know Zeal existed because we were there. <laughs> we know what happens in Zeal to Chrono and all that, but they they are aware in this institute that timelines time have changed, and apparently they're aware of events in different timelines, which would make sense for a temporal research institute. So, appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999. Remember in Chrono Trigger there are several places, several ways you can approach the battle of, uh, uh, with Lavos in different eras. One of them is just flying to 1999 when he's about to emerge and killing him, which we'll need for a new game plus ending. So they knew everything. 
Oh, wait, who are these? I think... Oh, are they... Are they kids in Surge? Oh no, humans and reptiles. Here we go. 65 million years ago, the reptiles who evolved from reptiles have developed their own unique civilization. This was long before the ancestors of humans who evolved from primate. primates had developed their civilization. Excavations carried out on the central continent of Zenon have revealed that the reptiles already had advanced architectural skills in the prehistoric era. The lavas' descent to the planet's surface and the ice age this, brings up, this brought about rang the death knell for the reptiles and their civilization. After that, the reptiles slowly disappeared from the stage of history. However, in the distant past, humans could have been defeated in the contest of evolution and re the, the reptiles could have continued to develop. It is not unthinkable that such a timeline could exist in another di dimension. Everything is purely a problem of possibilities, and the world is only stabilized by the viewpoint of the one who observes it. Oh, such good shit. So yeah, they hint there's a timeline where the reptiles did win evolution. Humans never came to exist. And we can kind of thank Lavas. I mean, we <laughs> humankind can thank Lavas for existing because... Uh, well, <laughs> there's more than just Lavas bringing end to reptiles, you know, with the Ice Age and everything. DNA, the seeds of life. The human body is made up of 50 to 60 billion cells. Each of these cells contains genes in the form of DNA. These are the fundamental building blocks that exist inside the cell's chromosomes. They store genetic information that can be passed on from parent to child. The structure of DNA is common throughout all life, throughout all universes. Through DNA recombination, life forms take on differing forms with varying abilities. I think it's an echo of, a, of someone from the past. Because they can g give us information, but I don't think they're really... Or maybe they're just evolved. I'm just gonna say they've been here for a long time. So, even though the facility is from 2400 AD, they've been here longer. <laughs> Much longer. So yeah, that's a human and a reptile. Makes sense. Okay, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm just gonna poke around a lot. Nothing to read here. Okay, we did talk to it. Alright, guy, move. What is this? Nothing we can interact with, apparently. Aha! Rainbow shell! Can I even use... Can I even make rainbow equipment? In this playthrough, I don't think I can. I think I'm locked out of that. I'm. Does it have to? I don't know. Oh, again, shouldn't worry too much. Uh, honestly, I really want to finish the, this playthrough, move on with other stuff, and then come back to trigger and uh, and cross properly, and then do a deep, deep story playthrough. More information. Every room is a mother load of information. You just gotta... I just gotta find the... The right places. Model of brain evolution. Okay. Model of brain analysis. Model of brain behavior. Okay, the brain does not do that. Model of lower animal brain. Oh, there are accompanying pictures as well. Or like these schematics. I don't know what you call them. X-rays. They're kind of, I don't know, futuristic X-rays. <laughs> ah, more ghosts to talk with. Memory scanning and imprinting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it is possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain, after all. The vessels of flesh can now be reproduced through cloning. And the soul stored within this, these fleshy vessels can be simulated as well. 
Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. However, this comes at the cost of the destruction of the individual, the loss of variation. In which case, is there truly life where there is no death? Ho ho ho! Ha ha ha! Ah! Don't talk to him. Um, so they could be clones, yeah. The life forms on this planet developed from single celled microorganisms to pro protozoans. Then from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with a cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals, the arthropod brain enlarged as an at an accelerating pace until it became the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by lavas? It then follows that humans are really a heter heterogeneous life form, or foreign matter, as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with lavas, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and incomplete. Internally inconsistent and disconnected, human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species, torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. Damn, that's like amazing shit. I'm glad I saved this for a whole session, just Chronopolis. Can I inspect that computer? I doubt it. We control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. That means that by manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains, it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come into contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. So that's, we, here we go to some creepy shit. So all the records of fate, all those stations where we save our game, they were <laughs> developed by this fate, and we're gonna find out what fate is very soon, to control humans, to make them do something that it feels needs to be done. Hello there. Should I even... You know what? I'm gonna go down and save. After all this, turns out it's something that just sneezes at me and kills me. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna... Just gonna quickly use this elevator and... Avoid all robots. Kill all humans. 1F. I'm just gonna touch that record of fate. <laughs> Mind controlling device. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, it'll get... It'll get very confusing. Especially for people who haven't, you know, followed both games. It's a, it's a very convoluted plot. plot. But after, after we're done with this section, I'll do my best to explain what actually happened. Why are we here? Why is this here? And why is Surge here? I kept saying the entire uh, playthrough that Surge, is that, are we done? Yeah, just that. That uh, El Nido Archipelago was not supposed to exist. Can I just go around? No. Um, well, it didn't exist. It was created artificially. Now we've seen the only thing that existed there was Gaia's navel. And this is somewhere off coast, uh, Zenon mainland, so the western continent from Chrono Trigger. We can imagine where it could be it's it's not really important combat what's a combat normal dynamic okay what's a combat what can you steal from a combat gunner getcha <laughs> gunner getcha <laughs> all right ouch okay that but uh, after all of that remember how much 
how much trouble we had with the boss guy. It was like 50 rockets, chain gun, all this shit. Nothing. Oh, Fargo, that's just embarrassing, man. Surge is just gonna poke him lightly. So Fargo can steal. Oh, shit, Fargo, what's your... You know what? Try it. I hope he doesn't have something unique. Oh, tonight. A lot's gonna happen tonight. Did he steal something? I didn't see. Did he steal something? I was looking at this screen. Just do this. And one more time. Nah. Norse is immune to guns. Nice. And uh, he has red in it, huh? Fuck. Could have made Fargo summon, but I was dicking around with steals. Fargo used one blue. I used one blue. We still need two more. Nostrum. So many criticals. Oh, he's... Oh, shit. Surge is... Damn. He's berserk, so he's gonna keep attacking. I'm just gonna try to finish it off. Oh, I did steal Nostrum. Okay, okay. I get it now. Whoa. Why so missable? I guess Electro Jolt, it's a robot, it might work, I don't know. <clears throat> Something. I gotta move my neck a bit. I don't feel so. No, what am I doing? Surge, surge, I have no control over Surge. Damn it. Just defend. Thanks, Lupka. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's not as nearly as bad as it looked. Surge, man. So he's... He's not berserk. He's confused, I guess? Damn, we could have had a yellow summon. But Angry Surge had to fuck it up. Everyone's good, yeah. Hellbound. I expected something more grand. So that's it for this room, I guess. The game's barely running itself <laughs> all that's left is fourth floor where are you guys defending there only personnel registered as arbiter may enter The experiment will begin soon. Please withdraw to your designated positions. We will do the same in case of an emergency. It's kind of like the intro to Half-Life. <laughs> oh, did you just put sunglasses on the on the lightning? <laughs> Everyone, get around! Let's see... In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Wait, that's now, 11th century. 
Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate, and no conclusions have been made. So Time Mag is the Chrono Trigger, remember that from Chrono Trigger? <laughs> Zoom. So that's the black hole. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-times. Time eggs may have already existed during the reign of the ancient dynasty we heard legends about. We shouldn't, have to re we shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this ourselves. But the legends say they altered time using a time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren sea of El Nido, we built artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our re research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. Yeah, but you've seen the, the name of the episode, Lyubka, right? It's just a matter of time, so everybody, so everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Ah, uh, you know who, who chief is? You don't see the, the, the name of the episode? Project Kid? The stream, I mean, the stream episode. Time is not absolute, but elastic. It is both relative and subjective. Individual differences emerge as time changes. Perhaps people, all life forms, exist in their own separate strands of time. Is time independent, marching to the beat of its own drum? Pah, ridiculous. <laughs> One masterpiece is enough. <laughs> yeah, well, she'll be back in a way. Chief, we know him. Okay, so this just simulates the black hole, okay? Well, that's that's how the scientists say... <laughs> this is based on actual uh, science from 1999. Some things are different, like some new knowledge has come to light in the past 20 years, but basically that's it. Uh, bending time-space comes from Einstein's theories. Einstein. Einstein? Wow, well, is that hard to say in English? Einstein. <laughs> We're conducting a simulation of phase shifting. So you're making PAL television? Uh -huh. Nothing there. Let's talk to everyone. The lost ancient magic civilization of Zeal. If it really did exist, someone may have been even traveled through time to this period. Yeah, someone, huh? What about you? We may appear to be a military research center, but the actual subject of our research is time itself. This institution was established under the utmost secrecy by the central government. Yeah. You know who made them do it? You'll find out. What do you mean, can remember? Can remember who the chief is? Well, you don't know yet. You're not supposed to know yet. It's been hinted. He hinted, kinda. You may connect the dots. We found a time machine at some point in the game. At the start of the game, there was a time machine. Wait, this door goes somewhere? What about the other door? Fuck it. I hope it's not where I don't want to go. Ah, yes! The chests. Magnify. Talk to me, man. The chief said he was going out for a walk. He's probably by the dock somewhere, gazing out to sea. Ah, so we gotta find this chief. 
So we can't go down there. What's that purple thing on the stairs though? It's driving me nuts. I keep thinking I can do something with it. What about this door? So this door, you can't open it? Nah. Can't open the door! Okay, we gotta go find Chief. It's gonna make sense when we find him. <laughs> it's gonna make so much sense it was him. <laughs> ah! Asshole. I was jumped as soon as I went through the door. At least they're easy to kill. Hacha! Oh, still alive. The one miss could have helped. Let's hope. You know? Nah, I'll just do this. Yeah, you can't. You, you're not supposed to remember. I just gave you a hint, but you're you're not. You're supposed to be surprised when they reveal who it is. Highly impractical. Can we do a three? Hiya, man, lucky. I said there was. If you remember near the start of the game, like at very early in the game, uh, there was... We found a time machine somewhere, if you remember, a time machine. And I was like, holy shit, I've never seen this. It would have uh, explained a lot to me the first time I played, but... Wait, are we still in 4? So, have I been everywhere? They said Chief is at the docks. Yeah, okay. We can't enter because Chief is missing, so let's go get Chief. First floor. They said he's out at the docks. Or that's not the chief. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. But he's... The, the, who I mean, I think, yeah. He was... The chief is not that guy. But still, we're there. We're there. Yeah. You remember where we found it? Who was there? Here we go. I meant this guy. But no. Um... Uh, I think he's gonna say now who I mean. <laughs> the Time Research Lab, which served as the foundation of this research center, appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300 and was headed up by the scientific genius Balthazar. That's who I meant. So remember Balthazar, the guru of reason from the Kingdom of Zeal? The kingdom these guys even uh, suspect existed? Hell yeah! No, it wasn't the ruins, it was in uh, Viper Mansion. Uh, underneath Balthazar's room, yeah. However, at the peak of it, his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. Our work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. No, no, no rush. <laughs> So Balthazar did this for a reason. He knows a lot. Remember, Balthazar is one of the three gurus from Zeal. So he knows way more than people from the future know. And he did this he did this for a reason, to save someone dear. Someone we know and someone we couldn't save in Chrono Trigger. Uh, it was fourth floor, right? Can I get to B1? No, I think after the experiment. I'll get to B1. It was over here, I think. Yeah, okay, what about the other guys? Before I go in there, I'm gonna check over there. The experiment is underway, X is denied. Okay, that makes sense. Ha! Look at all these things. They have so many of them. Our save points. 
Let's talk to them. This is the observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. Fate is a large-scale prototype completed in the year 2300. It integrated the old mother brain computer circuitry into a more powerful supercomputer. Remember mother brain from Chrono Trigger? Ah, oh, no. The main computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. There you go. Now you know what Fate is. So Fate is a supercomputer from distant future. And it has a task. Fate contains a massive amount of historical data, dating up to the year 2400. So Chronopolis, well, the lab on which the Chronopolis was built, uh, just sprung up in the year 2300. And these guys have maintained it for 100 years until something happened. Because they're obviously here in the past for them, in the present for us. And they've been here for a long time. Long time. Remember those 10,000 years? So, okay, here we go. The two parallel worlds. They're running an experiment here. Look, the... Look at the... Uh, Viper Mansion. In home world, it's just a ruin. In another world, it still stands and there are salt and pepper there guarding the gate. The record of fate is exposed? Two worlds that are so close in nature, yet so far removed from one another, exist in separate dimensions. These worlds are under the constant observation of and are guided by the main computer of Chronopolis, Fate. Fate has been manipulating the world in which El Nido lies in order to avoid any major change to the history it knows. In an event, if an, if an event on El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400 in which Fate exists would change. This paradox could potentially lead to great disaster. The records of Fate Fate's terminals, collect data from around the world, and input guidance directly into the minds of its users. In this covert manner, Fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Guided by Fate, the people of El Nido lead harmonious lives. In a sense, they are nothing more than puppets of Fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie 01 to give up going to the main continent yeah, an instruction to the young girl in Arnie 01, so in Homeworld, to give up going to the main continent to become a poet. Remember her? An instruction to the, to the man in Arnie 02 to give up on becoming a fisherman. Remember him? A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect history. However, since the formation of the Dead Sea 10 years ago, so something happened 10 years ago, when a boy was being carried here. Remember in Marbul they told us that? There's so many scraps information. You gotta remember and assemble in your head. Fate has been unable to intervene directly with World 01. The best Fate could do was to cross the dimensions and receive data through the records of Fate. And with much difficulty, Fate succeeded in bringing Miguel to the Dead Sea as a watchman. Remember him? <laughs> ah... So that's what the save points do, the records of fate. Because the, the whole archipelago was artificially created, uh, the supercomputer had a mission to do, and it didn't want to change history, so, you know, to avoid erasing its own existence. And that's why it's so hard to uh, access El Nido from... from outside world remember at the start of the game maybe uh, somebody said at this time of year the currents are too strong and it's you can't leave el nido archipelago so you can i, I think you can only go in because the currents go pull you in that's what they meant what about this guy oh no wait this way zoom
Another combat. <laughs> oh, I get it. Combat. <laughs> combat. Number two, another two. I have enough accuracy to do this. Yoink. Okay, not important. Kill him, boys! Cut or get ya. <laughs> What can I do? Where was he? Oh wait, can we freeze him? Let's see, because that would be cool. We'd have two blues. He keeps throwing the red in. We got no one that's red. Not frozen. Oh well, I tried. It's his turn. Oh wait, Fargo's actually, yeah, that's what it does. It inflicts Confuse. Berserk, something. Wait, if I do this, yeah, there you go. He should be done. Yeah. Card key, nice, so we can go to the basement now, huh? What about here? It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. Oh god, remember this? Do you remember this? You gotta remember this. So it's... It's the intro to Radical Dreamers. It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather, who passed away years ago. It contained his distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Yar, looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met our many adventures and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days, long ago. You were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the moments of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like so and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid. Kid. Radical dreamers, la trazo and tadi. What is this? Radical dreamers? What does that mean? There is a conversation with a comrade. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. Yeah, likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that, Serge? Come on, Maggie, let's go. That bastard Link is gonna get what he deserves. <laughs> Share your prayers, Lynx. <laughs> Cause we're coming for you. <laughs> Not that it'll do you any good. This seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Yar, aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times may also exist. So Radical Dreamers is canon and it happens in a parallel, world, parallel dimension where things went differently and Kid and Serge still meet. So he just read his own diary from another uh, dimension, from another timeline. That's so fucked up. I love it. Okay, what now? The experiment is underway, and what we do? What do we do? They're okay. They're observing. I guess I go out because I have the key card. Do I have the key card? I thought I had the key card. No, I do. Oh, there we go. Card key. I'm sorry. A security pass built with futuristic technology that makes it impossible to duplicate. 
Well, yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So where do we go? What was locked? What's the password, by the way? You know what? I'm gonna check. I'm really curious. That was first floor? No, second floor. Maybe I missed something. Uh, I'll do it here. I gotta. I still gotta rearrange stuff in the room. No, well, if they attack me, I'll just fight, I guess. Oh my god, of course it is. Okay. Okay, I just I just looked at the hint. It's you got to calculate it from <laughs> I'm going to do it. So it's not it's not it's not decimal. I was trying decimal. I should have tried binary. So every time you go in, I, I knew it had something to do with this. Every time you go in, the cabinets change the order. So since it's binary, we can actually count it. We start from the back. So zero zero one. I think it's zero zero one zero zero. So we just need the first three. Zero zero and then one. One on the third place is two to the power of one, two, three. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so it should be 8. No? Then uh, what if it's... What if they're all 1s and that one's 0? No, it can't be. So it would be... Wait, wait, wait. 1, 1. 2. Then... 4 that's 6 and 16 that's 22 and then 32 32 and 20 is 52 and 2 54 okay let's try 54 no wait 54 no really let's go again 2 no wait it's oh wait I know what I did wrong I didn't count the first so it's 0 zero that would be two so let's try four not eight four if that's so if the open one is one it would be four yeah there you go recharge what is it man it makes you it makes you <laughs> calculate binary i don't know if i opened this the first time so let's see what it was was it an element oh wait 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 we got we got level eight we got a level 8. <gasps> that means we can put more summons. Saints. There you go. Army of Angels attacks foes and heals party. Yes. Yes. What was I? What did I just get? I got... And I, 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 I dug it. Oh, man. What did I get? Optional. Uh, 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 Recharge. What the fuck is recharge? Is it even an element? There it is. Recovers a used element for reuse. Wow, yes, please. Okay, we're gonna need that. Mm. So, Norris doesn't have... Nor Fargo have okay okay, we got Surge has got the new element that's pretty cool. So you, you got to do it every time. Nothing there. <laughs> so it's binary. My God. We're going to first floor to save and then we're going to... <laughs> we got a date with fate. B1. 
Was there anything else where I needed a card? I can't remember. Fucking just try B1. Confirming. Access granted. Alright. Can't remember what what's fate's innate, but we'll see. I guess we'll let's go to the left guy. The right guy just keeps going. Like my body can handle these flashbacks. Ah, uh, just destroy him. Why'd you bother with that, man? I haven't done this in a long time. Yeah. Norris, you blind man. That'll work. That's the only move he knows, isn't it? I just noticed his knees open up to fire rockets. What about the other guy? Let's see now. Is he gonna... I don't think he'll rush straight into battle. Nah. What is this? Nern Enertron? Is this... Does this heal? I should get hurt and try it. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Here we go. Project Kid. You see that, Lyubka? Here we are. Please step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Analyzing. Please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina and C-class DNA all clear. Data discrepancy due to aging within permissible range. 96% confirmation that this individual is the last registered arbiter. Access granted. Welcome back. Chrono Trigger. So that is why. So that is why Link's needed Surge's form. Yar, Link's must be inside already. Yes, along with the frozen flame. Let's slowly and politely get inside. Arbiter confirmed. Access granted. Here we are. Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly. Huh? Oh, I waited for this track for so long. There she is. The hearer of people's prayers. The provider of riches, fame and power. The bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Lynx! What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have perished on the way here. Are you all right? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. 
I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Who are you? What are you after? You still don't know? I am the human incarnation of fate, the living interface of the fate's computer system. Or put simply, I too am fate. What? Fourteen years ago, on the night of a terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea carrying a sick child in their boat. That child was you, Serge, after you had been attacked by, the, by that panther demon. A lot. You just missed the most important things in the game, if you, if you missed this. Uh, but you can always rewind, don't worry, it's not missed forever. We're, we're about to find out the, 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 the truth, the most important one. <laughs> Your poison wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina, or even Galdov. Oh, is he okay? Man, you should have told me, I would have waited a little. So they set sail to Marble in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Oh, this is this is, it's good I brought Fargo here, because Fargo has a this concerns Fargo too. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm. But they were blown off course and came ashore on this island where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then, the flame had found you. Yes, he is. So this, on the door to this room, it said Project Kid. Project Kid is a very important thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll explain detail when it's done. Contact with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of Fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. So fate parts from Mother Brain, the supercomputer from Chrono Trigger, that we fought that we fought with Robo as a boss, were used to create fate supercomputer. But also another robot we know. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of fate? That hidden circuit was based on the initial Ashtier model circuit board with extra logic ad added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that this circuit was present within the core of its system. Or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. Dr. Luca Ashtier Unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic. You might even go as far so, so far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't think it was she who implemented her theory. This was most likely the work of Balthazar, the first curator of the research center. Fate. Bring out the traitor. Bring out Prometheus. So... If you don't remember, Prometheus is Robo, so they used parts of Robo to build fate. Affirmative. And uh, and uh, the other surge, who Lynx is in, uh, it's fate's consciousness inside the body, but the original body, you'll never believe who it is. Ah, uh, you have finally released me. 
welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between fate and the dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Affirmative, now eliminating, eliminating Prometheus. No, you cannot. Surge, please, for the future of mankind, for the future of... Idiot. Destruction for those who oppose, oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx, why you? Ha, come, Surge. There you go, it goes back to its real form. Its true form. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. Oh, I remember this battle. No. He was changed on the molecular level. So, here we go, shortly. At some point in the future, after Chrono Trigger, Balthazar builds uh, Chronopolis, the Time Institute. 2300 year 2300 and they keep on experimenting until the year 2400 something happens a fatal mistake happens and the chronopolis is hurled back into time 10,000 years before now so basically during the time of kingdom of zeal and uh, how would i put that to words it terraforms el nido which was just a sea with one island that we now know as uh, Gaia's Naval. And it sends its employees, so people who were from the future, who came here, the supercomputer is able to reprogram them, so change their memories, change their essence. Basically, I can wake up tomorrow and don't know I'm me, I'm Matea Hippitesla. Instead, I think I'm somebody else. It can do that. And, uh, and it does that with its employees, it releases them on the on the El Nido archipelago, but uh, I love this part. Sash, you know, I've been to telling you about this for nine and something years. This is how we met. I told her about Chrono Cross. <laughs> but I never played it fully. I always waited for, uh, for a good time, and it's now, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so Fate releases its... Uh, the Chrono Chronopolis is its <laughs> employees into the onto the island to populate it and because some because <laughs> there's gonna be more so there are buildings that are not from this dimension at all that we met because remember reptites died out in this dimension yet there are mentions of reptites on el nido which means somehow they came from a parallel dimension where they actually did evolve over humans let's go so i i remember this battle kind of jesus christ she's creepy Yep. Should we look look at her up close? That's just disturbing. <laughs> no, that would be the longest story ever if you had to retell this. Commencing, shut down, no, countdown, five. Uh, diminish, okay? So she's gonna weaken all elements. Damage halved temporarily, okay. I'm, I'm still gonna use some, just some weaker ones for starters, just to keep it, keep the field white. Photon ray, yeah, let's do. Photon ray! Yeah! They will have like 15 seasons. Yeah, that's why I don't use that camera, because that happens. Sometimes it clips into the model. It looks really nice, but it clips in and it disappears. Blah. 
We might we might be ready for a summon if she doesn't fuck it up with an element. I should have locked black elements, man. Four. <clears throat> Grab it. yeah. <laughs> okay, we know what it does now at least. Large recovery. You know what? Save that for now. Do we have a heal all? No, even worse. Something even. What's worse? That's uh, cure all. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, fuck it. Then cannonballs! Yeah, I could totally pull that. <laughs> Only in the mornings. I, I don't tell good stories in the evenings. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Nice. It's not a critical, but it's a good, good hit. Do you think it expired? Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Hold on, scratch your throat. Oh, I'm loving this blackberry syrup. It's so tasty. And it actually has whole blackberries inside. What's gonna happen when the countdown reaches zero? I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> yeah, I remember that scene. I loved it. Geronimo! Geronimo! Me! <laughs> Wait, who just got their asses handed to me? Okay, I think it was... Don't forget to steal with Fargo. And don't forget to heal with this guy. I'm gonna do it now, because look, Fargo's about to die anyway, so heal all. Good thing I brought Norris here. There you go. Everyone's good again. Fargo, you gotta steal this turn, man. It's uh it's your turn to turn. Yeah. We're stealing like that's Level 3. Christ almighty. Here we go. What you got there, Fate? One holy healing. Wow, that sounds... That, so it's a consumable, I can tell? It sounds useful. It's about to end the countdown. I wonder what's gonna happen. Two... I love this music. Not holy. Not holly. Holy. <laughs> With one L. I think it was one L. What happened? I wasn't watching. Oh, poor Fargo. She really dislikes you, man. I'll try it. Fuck it. Ugh. Oh, it worked. I think it's time for the... Let's start it simple. No, Fargo is on the left. He's cursed. Damn. What does it mean? Let's try the top shot. It should blow it away. <laughs> nah, look at those, listen to those uh, keyboards, really good. One, okay, what happens when it reaches zero? Gravity blow, okay, all the known elements so far. 47. Poor Fargo, what do you have against Fargo? Another gravity blow? Is that uh, when timer reaches zero? Okay, this is bullying now. She does. She dislikes Fargo for some reason. <laughs> I 
What should I do, huh? Let's... I guess Iceberg, I don't know what else. Uh, the strongest one, fuck it, try it. Fargo's embargo. <laughs> Ooh, good vibrations. She... she seems to be unaffected by elements, most of them. I think physical damage is the way with her. Shit. Zero. Not good. What's gonna happen? At least we'll learn. Yeah, I would, but I can't fill up his elements. She keeps blocking. Holy. Okay, it'll be good. Everyone's in danger. Shit. Let's try two ones. Yeah, still not there. I need to reach level seven. So seven hits total, but I, I guess I'm gonna go do no, she might hit before that shit. Heal all. Yeah, heal all. Yeah, fate, she. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's she. <laughs> Look at that face. Hmm, that's not gonna help us. Do we need, no, we do, do we need some heals, maybe some light heals, like recover all? Yeah, I'm gonna do recover all. Do I have enough heals? That's a good question. Or maybe just do something on surge, like capsule? Capsule on surge, yeah, for now. No, 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 it's fate. We're fighting fate. So, Lynx is fate, or I mean, fate transferred her consciousness into Lynx's body. And Lynx's body is not Lynx's body. <laughs> yeah, she has. <laughs> this is a complex game, Yupka. I, I, I told you that it's when I started Chrono Trigger. That, like, these, this is Chrono Trigger and Cross, well, Cross especially, are... Cross's plot is very complicated. That's why your brother loves it so much. Recommencing countdown, okay? Because I love these complex and deep stories. But it's not easy. If you're not... Even after I already played three or four JRPGs before this. Eat more. Five, maybe. But, uh, yeah. What I want to say is, even after all that... This was hard the first time. I had to... I had to Google shit. I had to go to Wiki and be like, Really? That happened? You know what? We're gonna do that. Fuck you. You wanna avoid? Avoid this. Alright, now we can beat the shit out of her, I think. She can't evade as, as easy. Yeah! Right. Flying arrow, there you go. Fuck you! I think, uh, I think the... Diminish has expired. Okay, so only white skills actually damage her. Everything else, she's like, nah, I've had better. Four, she's about to do some. Some shenanigans. Graviton. Oh boy, Fargo, you gotta live through this, man. You have to, don't fuck. That's not bad. I, I expected it to be worse. Hmm. Let's do this. Yeah, she does. They have that kind of design. Kind of reminds me of... Um, what's the AI from System Shock? Man, I really gotta play System Shock. Lubica will love Bioshock, I think, Sasha. What do you think? I think she'll enjoy Bioshock, especially Bioshock Infinite. 
I don't know if John played Bioshock Infinite. You gotta ask him. Whoa, 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 easy. Easy there. I'm gonna use a Nostrum and then quickly I gotta use something like a white element because if she gets three black fields, you might be fucked. So Surge, yeah, Surge, Nostrum, there you go. There's two uh, black elements on the field, so it'll be strengthened a bit. Yeah, she would. <laughs> it's really good. I will, I will send snap the bottle. I thought it's like it was about 500 dinars the bottle, and I've been eyeing it for years. Actually, I've been eyeing it to get for I think since before we moved to Bajorz. But I kept thinking, oh, it's expensive. It's not for the quality and like it's syrup you get a lot from it so it's worth it luminaire let's illuminate her when did you last see me utilize this glass half a liter glass but it's it's bigger than my head <laughs> how much did that do I didn't see it did some damage I'm sure Uh, yeah, I think, no, you just seen, yeah, the opening to Inf Bioshock Infinite, that's the third one. But I'm meaning to do... Huh, what is she doing? I'm meaning... Leave Fargo alone, you monster! Um, I'm meaning to do all three games, like as I do, like the story marathon run. So that'll happen sometime. I guess I'm gonna heal more with him. I can go Cure Plus and use it on Fargo. So the first two Bioshock games are clearly a uh, first-person shooter horror with lots of exploration. But Bioshock Infinite, the one I did show you, that one's much brighter. It, like, it looks brighter until you get the story and then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> You know, man, I, I think I'm gonna go for a... I don't know, Meteorite. You know what? Fuck it. Rock to the head. No, I was never in Medieval. <laughs> you probably mean Medicorage. <laughs> uh, Yen? Two... Oh. Is it time? She's about to do it. Gravity blow, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was infinite. It starts with the lighthouse. Well, they all start with the lighthouse, that's the thing, but that that's the brightest one. It's brightest until you until you realize what's get what until you understand what's happening, then it gets really dark, really. <laughs> that's a game I never expected to turn out, you know, time travel. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'll heal then. I guess that's all I can do. Nope. Recover all. I want to do dash and slash, but she's attacking next, so I'm gonna recover all and then dash and slash after that. Hey, I got the thing where I can recover the 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 flying arrow. That's right. What else do you have there? I guess better than nothing. Both Sasha and I, uh, oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was useless. Both Sasha and I played that game twice and we both cried the ending. So four times, jeez, it never gets easy. I really like that game. Holy hell. Serge really doesn't like that attack. Okay, she's almost dead. What can we do to finish this? Actually, Q-roll and then Surge can finish it, actually. 
Actually, actually. Now that's a heal. Can we dash and slash it to death? I'm gonna do it right now. Just in case it decides to live. Fuck you! La 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 la. Yeah. Goodbye. Is it done? Nah, I really hope to end it on that. Should have hit her one. And now Norris is gonna finish her, huh? Yep. Okay, no, recommencing on down. Jeez. I really hope to end her with that. Nope. Oh, smack. Smack. There's so many good things on the long term schedule. I don't know where to start. No, 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 love, thank you. Slaps giving, yeah. <laughs> Let's fry her circuits. So, really, she's not affected by anything other than white elements. I don't know what else I can do. Meteorite. Just don't use black elements with her. Photon ray. I don't know. I think it's gonna do the same damage as a level 4 blue element. Hello, Gavin. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, Gavin. Ah, that was... That was way worse than I expected. I can still finish her. The fires of fate. Are we done? We're done. Goodbye, fate. Is it done or is she gonna have a second form? No. Okay. Fate's out. The fate is no more. You too, Gavin. You too. I like seeing your name in the chat. No! How could you? Wait, who's that? I, fate, the goddess of fate, uh, was not meant to die. I didn't see that achievement. Defeat fate, the mother computer of Chron Chronopolis. There you go. Ah, ha! Huh. Where in blazes am I? Serge, what happened to me? Aha! Uh -huh. that, that's it! So she finally found what she's been looking for through several peril timelines and games. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. She's gonna touch it. Don't touch the frozen flame. There she is. Non, arrête. Ne touche pas. Do not touch it. Kid, I know the feelings you have inside you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself off the cliff of destruction. That is your imperative. But see will play, kid. Do not drag Serge and the others down into destruction with you. Shut up, ya loony. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but she's there. Okay, that was... There was either perfectly timed or or you're just messing with me. It's too late. There's no turning back now. So that's the frozen flame. It's so powerful they have to contain it. It's just one piece of lavas. Just like a hair. <laughs> Imagine a piece of hair plucked from... Like not even head from your arm. Being used as weapon, weapon of weapon, a <laughs> weapon of mass destruction, as well as a time traveling device. Here we go! Here we go! It's happening! Fade has fallen. Fade has died. It's happening. This is this is it. Finally, the time has come. They all have the same voice. It's happening. Get ready. Indeed. 
the long endless night shall finally come to an end. They knew, they, they set me up, they set us all up. Now, for mankind. Oh, he's awake, we didn't fight you. I shall make you bleed. Yep, they set us up. So everybody but us knew <laughs> what's happening. Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. Oh, I love this part. This left such a strong imprint in my mind. We are very close to the end of the game. Here we go. So that's Sky Dragon's Island. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. It's actually the ruins of Dinopolis. Town of reptiles from a parallel dimension. Here we go. Yeah, that's the final dungeon. That's the final dungeon. Butt clenching in it. Well, <laughs> yes and no, it's very complicated. So fate was aware of the two dimensions and Belthazar, so Belthazar set this all up. Belthazar wanted this to happen. He wants to save someone. Remember, someone very important in Chrono Trigger we didn't save. A very good person. One of the best people, <laughs> one of the best people from both games. The, the most benevolent. <laughs> Balthazar did all this, so basically he manipulated time because he knew the present and past. In order to save this person, he made all this happen. So he arranged everything to happen. Kid and Surge and all of us shouldn't exist. None of this should exist in the original timeline. He changed the timeline to make this happen. And the dragons knew. The dragons, I told you, the dragons, <laughs> the dragons are not what they seem. They are dra they're dragon gods. They are dragons, but they are also cybernetic. So they are <laughs> they're Terminator. <laughs> Terminator dragons, Terminator dinosaurs. They're a mix of machine and flesh. And they 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 want something. They've been waiting for a long time for something. This is multiple parties want their thing to happen. And only one can win. <laughs> Well, I, I, I just, I, I reveal it as the game reveals it, but I try to explain it because you can't get everything in one playthrough. Plus, I know the whole story, so now you know, I'm connecting ends. It makes sense, doesn't it? <clears throat> Need more water. Kid knows. Kid knows what Terra Tower is. Terra Tower, it's come back to life again. In the year 2400, during a counter-time experiment, the flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting... Resu I can't... I like with her accent saying this. Resulting in, a, in the time crash. <laughs> Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Maybe this was Lavos' doing. Maybe he saw the possibility, possibility of being destroyed by the adventurers in 1999. And decided to create a new outcome in order to escape destruction. And so when the experiment took place, Lavos pulled the frozen flame back to the ancient past, where he was only just awakening. But that ain't all. At the same time, another city from a different dimension's future was also thrown back in time. Dinopolis, the future city of the Reptites, Azala's descendants, who had evolved most, more closely with the planet. Just as Lavos, in an attempt to save itself, summoned Chronopolis from the distant future, perhaps our planet summoned Dinopolis back into the past, maybe as a measure to against Chronopolis and humanity. It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed away the frozen flame. What actually happened is that Fate used the flame to divide, this, divide and seal the dragons. And now that fate has been defeated, the dragons will join together again to start their revenge. Here we go.
Remember, there's a seventh dragon. We were just looking at it. There you go. They turned on each other. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> you know what's happening? I remember this cutscene. Transformers, dragons in the sky. <laughs> There we go, the full dragon god. Here we go, whoop, remember this from the intro? Destroy humanity, destroy. I feared it would, it would come to this. I didn't want to have to fight with you if I could have been if it could have been avoided. Adieu, Serge. Adieu. Man. <clears throat> Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me we were being used all this time? Yar, yeah. Damn. What is done is done, although we may not like it. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. Yes, we cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... So, we have to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can make it up there either. There has to be a way. Hmm, at least our objective is clear. I do not know how, but we must find a way. So, like, whatever happened to Kid after that? <clears throat> Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed! She is resting at Radius's place. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. There's no sense staying here. Come on, mateys, let's show off. Yeah. Okay, so we still don't have kids. She's she's the one of the two main characters. She's absent for most of the game. Keep the party as is, or maybe swap someone in, I don't know. I say like this for now. Oh, we can see Chronopolis now? So we're in another world, okay. So here, let me let me try to explain that. Yeah, she's in a different coma now. Kid is very important to this story. So like I said, the... Uh, The room where we found her, it said it had labeled Project Kid. It's something the Balthazar thought up. What was that then? The dragons? So here, here's very short skim version. Uh, the humans weren't supposed to evolve as they did, as we've seen in Chrono Trigger as well. <laughs> so it was supposed to be the reptites, the descendants of the reptiles, basically walking, talking, intelligent reptiles reptites and uh, lavas fell from the sky we know that and as humans came in touch with it uh, or actually when apes came in touch with lavas uh, it reshuffled their DNA and made them evolve so basically it gave them something they shouldn't have and um, oh yeah that was her of course like I said kid is very important <laughs> And because 
because Lavos's meteor fall <laughs> caused an ice age, as we know during Zeal, it killed all the dinosaurs, just like it did in, our, in real world. They used it as basis, right? But the humans kept on living, and they they weren't supposed to be here. The reptiles were supposed to rule the world. So in a parallel dimension, that did happen. Exactly that happened. Lavos never fell. Humans never evolved. I mean, apes never evolved into humans, and reptiles ruled supreme. So, when something happened in Chrono Trigger, someone was left somewhere very unpleasant. <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna say it at this point because we're about to find out. But plug, cover your ears, <laughs> plug your earballs if you don't want to hear. In three, two, one, it's Shala. Remember uh, Magus's sister from. Uh, from the first game it's her we never saved her she's stuck there yeah Balthazar knows her she, she he was with her in the castle and uh, he made this plan because he was aware of the present and the past and the future <laughs> he was the guru of reason one of the three gurus of zeal so in the future he convinced the government the central regime to build a time research lab disguised as a military research outpost but they slowly, over the hundred years, they improved it. Uh, Fate was built, a supercomputer with parts from Robo and Mother Brain. And the whole thing involves Surge existing. So, so none of this was supposed to exist. Look, look, none of this originally existed. The only thing that existed in this sea was this Gaia's navel. But Fate... So in 2400, this... Uh, they call it time crash. An incident happened, and it hurled. Chron so Chronopolis was in distant future. You got to think through space and time now. We're now in the year 1010, I think 1010 or 1020 actually, and uh, Chronopolis ended up 10,000 years before now. So basically, during the Kingdom of Zeal, and fate used its power to terraform to make all these islands that didn't exist, and it's. It closed off the archipelago, so here's what I'm saying. The currents are strong, you can't exit. There's there's a whole world outside there, we just don't see it in this game, it's not necessary, the story is contained here. So, Fate sends out its uh, workers, employees, to uh, populate the islands, start living there, and you know, because it needs to, It yeah, yeah, too bad, but he'll be there for next time, don't worry. Everything will be <laughs> things will be better next time there it is oh gee there it is we're not gonna go there yet so because because uh chronopolis kids just explained that part because chronopolis is a foreign object from from another time here the planet to balance it out because it shouldn't it shouldn't exist in the past right to balance it out it pulled in um dinopolis so there it is. Remember where, where the Sky Dragon Isle was? It was actually the the ruins of Dinopolis, the ancient... Well, it's not ancient. Rept Reptitian town from another dimension where reptiles did evolve. And then reptiles from Dinopolis and humans from Chronopolis <laughs> had a war. They fought for a while and humans won because they had better technology. And reptiles, what what was left of them, started living on the islands with humans, and slowly, as like a crossbreed of humans and reptiles, demi-humans evolved. So everyone who's not human, who we have seen so far, is actually uh, a descendant of a reptile and human crossbreed. And. Fate also in, uh, installed all the records of fate around the islands, where um, <laughs> that is wonderful, isn't it? And by setting up the records of fate, it could control the hu like everyone who lives here, everyone who touches, because it just told them touch these, and they touched it, and it re rewrote their memories. Now I'm simplifying this a lot, and then. Because it rewrote their personalities, told them, today you eat spinach and you go to piss at 3 p.m. and you'll trip and break your leg or whatever. And that happens. <laughs> what is savage? 
And did I do something? I'm sorry if I, I didn't mean to <laughs> insult anyone. Um, <clears throat> and for thousands of years, oh yeah, oh yeah, for thousands of years it did that and manipulated people. But Surge was integral here. Surge and Kid are very important. Beltas are needed Surge to exist because his duality. Remember, he was bitten by a panther demon, so his father, Wazuki, and Miguel, his best friend, Lina's father, set sail and brought him first to... Um, I think they first brought him to... Goldov. They couldn't help. Then it was someone else. I forgot where, where was the... They just mentioned the other location, and they couldn't help either. Who, who was that? What location? Damn, I forgot. Termina. Yeah, Termina and Goldov. So they went to Termina first, then Goldov. And then, then, they, then they told them mm, about the sage from Marbule. We met him on the ship. It's that guy who was important to start the side quest of Marbule. That's why I say it's very important for the story. So we'll miss that part for now. <clears throat> and as they were heading for Marbule, so here, there was a big storm that blew them off course and got him here into the Sea of Eden or Dead Sea. And because of the storm, the fates... fates um, Security systems were offline. So when Wazuki and Miguel brought Surge in there, he got in contact with the frozen flame, the piece of Lavos. And the whole thing was programmed that whoever touches frozen flame, he becomes the arbiter, the one who can wield it, the one who can enter Project Kid room. So Balthazar knew that Surge would end up there, he would do it, that the system would be offline. So normally no one would be able to approach the frozen place, uh, the frozen flame and that place uh, without uh, without the Arbiter. But because it was offline, Surge touched it. When it came back online, it recorded Surge as the Arbiter and that was important to lock him there. Now in the other dimension, Surge did die and that split the timelines. So in one dimension, in the home world, he lived. In another world, he died. And we needed a time timeline split. Now another thing, it said that fate I can say this, fate took the dragon god and divided him in six pieces, seven pieces actually, but yeah, let's say six, and locked him away. And what it did was, in one dimension it killed three dragon gods and left three, in the other dimension it killed the other three uh, dragon gods and left three. So that's why we have we have to meet three dragons in home world and three dragons, dragon gods in another world, because they don't exist. We need all six of them for this to work. So now we brought them over from the other dimension. And now, like if the plot didn't thicken so far, it thickened. <laughs> it thickens. So where can we, who can we talk to? Let's see if uh, Dira has something to say. <laughs> that, was, that was the short and simple version. <laughs> There's a lot on the... Well, both the uh, Chrono Wiki and uh, several other websites where you can read. So this guy here, his ancestors were a human and a, and a, rep, a reptite. This guy here as well, human and reptite. That's why they're half human, half something else. Now we did get very sad because reptite, I'm um, sorry, uh, demi-humans and humans don't like each other still. We never did the Marble Quest. But that's also what I like about this game. After all, like, everything I know about it, it still finds a way to fuck me over. <laughs> In a good way. Ancient teachings fade with time and new systems are born. We humans follow time's flow. Where, where will be when the planet's dream ends? That is the question being asked of us now. Okay, what about her? May the blessing of the goddess of fate be upon the children, we children of the planet. So everybody who's actually... Daria, yeah. <laughs> Everyone who's actually from El Nido is actually from the future. So like, if you're, let's say Serge, he, he, his ancestors are actually from the future. Because they came from the future a long time ago and they just settled here. It's kind of like a time loop, I can't... You're getting it. I'm pretty sure you're getting you're getting the, the gist of it. That's important. Okay, I know what to do now. I know what I need to do and where I need to go. 
but I think we're gonna leave the the final dungeon for the for next time. I'm gonna think I'm gonna think as I head into bathroom. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna take a short bathroom break. Gotta refresh my water as well. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere with more <laughs> Chrono Cross. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, me. We're continuing for a short while our adventures. Well, are we really? I thought about it and I'm gonna leave the... All right, Lubka. Have a bon appetit and have fun, you two. Yeah, I'm not gonna do much, so... I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna go check for that... Um... Dario side quest now, just a quick jump. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna do that. I said I'm not gonna do it. I have a... I have this wish to finish it all. But I should also be smart. Mm, very possible early morning stream tomorrow. Plus, okay, I really wanted to finish it tonight uh, in my head. But then, as I was meditating <laughs> in the bathroom, I realized, I remembered that there's the final du dungeon, at least two bosses I can remember. And there's a lot of story and the ending is pretty, pretty needy. So, um, yeah, the pool of completion. <laughs> So I'm gonna end it here. I know where to go and what to do. I'm just gonna consult John if <clears throat> there's something important I should do beforehand. <clears throat> but after this, we can finish the game. That's it. I'm gonna save here. We know what to do. Terra Tower. Caught in an echo of time. How, how long have I been playing? 55 hours. Without Marble Quest. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta do it. I know it's weird taking a break two minutes before ending the stream, but uh, like I said, I, here we go. I can tell that I got to the point where I'm losing. I'm losing it because it's hard to talk. I'm dropping things. Let's see who we can raid. I'm very excited to do this, but let's not rush. Uh, Hmm. Load Twitcheroni. Here we go, I can raid Pav. They're gonna be sexy. Hunt Showdown. Bye. Yeah, I've heard about that game. I think Puff told me about it, actually. I was playing it the other day when he raided. Alrighty, thanks, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> so, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, in 11 hours from now, possible Evil Dead stream, we'll see. We, I haven't talked to the team about We'll see. And then the schedule over the weekend. You know everything, it's not the, it's not the first time I'm doing this. Have a have a wonderful evening, uh, evening, <laughs> and morning, evening, or whatever weekend, everyone. I'll see you around. Bye. <laughs>